Welcome to our lecture online. Now we have an infinite sum that appears to converge rather quickly. Matter of fact, three times as fast as the previous example. Instead of having 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, you can see that the denominators become bigger much faster, three times as fast. So certainly you would expect this series to converge and there will be a number that it converges to when you add up all the elements. Notice that as the denominators get very big, you'll be adding something that's extremely small and so eventually you come down to a number and this should converge. But actually it doesn't converge because when we rewrite it, you'll see something very interesting. We can say that the summation S sub n is equal to one third times. So what we're doing is we're factoring out a one third which gives us a 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third six, plus 1 four, one, over seven, one, over one over 8, 1 over 9, and so forth. And this is beginning to look very similar to what we saw in the previous one. Matter of fact, it's exactly the same. And then we can say that this is going to be equal to, or this is going to be greater than, 1 third the following summation. 1 plus 1 half plus 1 quarter plus 1 quarter plus 1 eight plus 1 eight plus 1 eight plus 1 eight plus 1 16 and so forth. And again, what we can say here is that over here we have a 1 and over here we have a 1. Then here we have a 1 half and here we have a 1 half. And the next two terms, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4, is now being replaced by 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. And you can say that 1 third is bigger than 1 fourth, so this must be larger than this. Then I take the next four terms, and I can take these four and say that those are bigger than those four terms. Then I take the next 16 terms, which are going to be bigger than the next, or not 16, but the next 8 terms are going to be bigger than the next 8 terms and so forth. And then on the right side, I can say that this is equal to one third times one plus one half. When I add those two together, I get plus one half. Add those four together, I get plus one half. Add the next eight together, plus one half. I get the next 16, give me plus one half. The next 32, plus one half, and so forth. So you can see that on the right side, I will be adding one half an infinite number of times, which means on the right side, this is greater than one third times infinity, this should be a three, times infinity, and of course a third of infinity is still infinity. And since the left side must be greater than the right side, and if the right side is infinity, that means the left side must be infinity as well, which means that the sum is equal to infinity. So even though it appears as if in this case the terms get smaller quickly enough, it still shows that it is not convergent, is divergent, and therefore the sum will be equal to infinity. So there's another special case where you have to be very careful how you deal with it so you can find that, yes, it does indeed diverge.